are oysters. This is a, a cluster of oysters. You can see they're all cemented to each other. It's like, actually, this is a really good example here. While scuba diving in Boston, Jonathan Wilker, an associate professor of chemistry, became interested in various sea creatures and their ability to stick to wet surfaces. He decided to bring his inquiries back to the Midwest, hoping to discover how animals such as oysters and mussels can create glue in such a moist environment. See where you have... Wow. There's an oyster here, and then see how there's another oyster here. There's actually a lot around there, there's a bunch in here, but they cement themselves together, right? And so what we're doing is trying to characterize what that material is. What, what are they actually producing in order to stick to themselves? Or, or actually, if you go to the coast, you'll sometimes see them on rocks or uh, dock pilings or ships or, or that kind of thing. So, so we study uh, oysters, we study mussels, we study uh, barnacles, and a few other marine organisms. Just tons of animals and oceans that make, make interesting uh, materials. So trying to understand what they are, make synthetic versions, develop applications for either the natural material or the synthetic material. Wilker is currently researching if the three animals tested match the three requirements desired in making surgical adhesive. See how these guys have these threads that come out? And at the end of the threads, you see these dots? Yeah. That's actually the glue. So the way they actually stick is they put these threads out and they have the glue at the end. And so the glue's contacting and it, they'll put it on any surface. It sticks to any surface. So it actually sticks to Teflon. So it's, a, it's pretty amazing stuff. So we've, I don't have one now, but we've done this where we put a sheet of Teflon in the tank and we have the, put the animals on it and you come back the next day and you can lift up the Teflon and they're, they're hanging. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's neat. So, so, that's, so that's a good close-up of what the glue actually looks like. Wilker has received many awards in the College of Science, teaching graduate and undergraduate students, including one graduate student and research team member, Lauren Height. Well, John is actually, our boss John is actually from the Boston area, so he loves the ocean. And coming here to Purdue was a great job for him, but he, I think he really missed the ocean, and so it was like, I think he was out scuba diving one day and was like, how in the world do these mussels stick to everything? Because like, mussels and barnacles, uh, kelp, oysters, clams, they can all use an adhesive to stick to something. And so he started getting curious as to how it actually worked. So that's just started asking questions is really what what, have, what led to all this, curiosity basically. Research members place the animals on differently coated pads in order to test the force of their adhesive to various surfaces. We chose oysters because uh, not much is known about their adhesive and it's a really interesting system. If you ever see them stuck to rocks, they're all grouped together in clusters. If you ever try to pull one of them out of the group, it's really difficult. So it's a really strong adhesive and it can dry even in a wet environment. So that's what was so interesting about it.